Greetings, Commanders. Today we are going to explore System Call 135 Sector EH-U Space C3-16, which is on the screen right now. And in that sector, there are three planets that I was told I need to go check out and test to see how good the brain trees are. Then that is this planet right here, which is 3A. Also planets 5A and B. And uh, you can see the first football person here. Balak Barden is the person that told me about the system. And um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to check it out. Um, according to him, the brain trees are really good here. And this is significantly closer than some other systems that we do raw material gathering in. So we'll see if it is. If it is, I'll probably follow up and make a second video that is much shorter than this saying, here's how to get materials really fast and quick. But consider this video to be more of a longer testing video than the video that just tells you how to do something. So if you're looking for a how to, um, watch for the next video if this system is successful. If there is no next video, then we weren't too successful in this system. But for people that want to just see what the exploration is like, keep watching. All right, so I'm in a my trusty um, uh, Mandalay here, and I've got let me switch over to the fire groups. Uh, I've got four remote flak launchers, which people that have seen my previous video know that this is how I do raw material gathering using flak guns to shoot at either crystals or uh, brain trees and then using limpets to bring that material up. So let's do that. Let's fly to the first planet and uh, test it out. That would be that one right there. Now, normally I would actually map the entire system first, but because somebody pointed me to specifically um, planets to look at, there we go. Uh, because somebody pointed out to the exact plans I need to go to, I'm actually not doing a uh, a full scan first. And these aren't too far away, 1600 light seconds, pretty close to the sun. Now this person did not originally scan or discover the system. But what he did do is do landfall on these planets first, uh, which allowed him to uh, really examine what all is on the planets nice and close by, rather than just shooting some probes at the planets from up above. And let's see, I want to have that running as well. 07 Commander Junaran. Exploration buddy at your service. Exploration buddy. So this is going to drive people that have a problem with too many voices running nuts because I have three apps that all have voice right now. Sorry, guys, but uh, it helps me to not miss anything if there's a voice telling me about it. Although I guess I could shut one of those down. Just so we have two voices instead of three. Um, actually, I'm going to just make her nice and quiet so she's still going to talk. But hopefully it'll be too quiet for you guys to listen to. Let's see if you can hear this. Oh, I can't even hear that. How about this? There we go. We'll leave it at that level, which I think you'll barely be able to hear. All right, where am I going? Right here. Uh, I'm going to also map the, these rings. I always like to do that just to see what uh, what the rings have in case there's any good hot spots here. Get nice and close.
Come on, this has got to be close enough. How is this not close enough? Oh, I got the wrong plant selected, that's why. Okay. Now I can start aiming at the other thing. And let's scan the rings, scan the outside ring, scan the inside ring. I don't bother usually scanning the plant itself because these gas giants are huge. And they're not worth a whole lot either. All right, we got any hot spots? Okay. High value core hotspots detected on call 135 sector AUC 3-163A ring. So, what what was the hotspot? I right, get out of this. <clears throat> Check here. Points of interest. All right. Turnabite, monazite, 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 platinum, painite. Okay. Interesting, and let's see, what is this? Uh, pristine reserves. Ooh, nice. Okay, so those are all hotspots in pristine reserves. And monazite in pristine is going to be very good. Platinum is going to be good depending on what kind of ring it is. Uh, let's see. This is... Um, Let's see. Let's see what kind of rings we have here. Metal rich, metal rich. Yeah, this should be good platinum spot. I'll uh, I'll test it out before I leave probably. And uh yeah, there's the monazite, and then platinum sh should be in the inner rings. How small is that hotspot? Tiny, tiny little hotspot. Monazite and painite. Yeah, that is a very tiny little platinum. Well, we'll see. See how the rates are in the here. Okay, now let me go back to where I was originally going. And see, this is why this is not a short video. This is a test video. So we want to actually go over here. And we'll scan this guy as well. Need four probes. Let's see if we can do it with one. I don't remember if I have the pre-engineered one here or not. If I don't, then it's going to take more probes, obviously. Okay, 44%. Definitely, definitely going to take more probes. All right, so we'll do two. It actually doesn't matter how many I do. I guess four would have been perfectly fine as well. Um, see where this one hits in the back. Now let's determine where my third one's going to go. Okay, overshadowed a wee bit. So then I just need to drop one right here. And that should do it. Okay. One biological signal and three geological signals detected on brain trees is what we want. Detecting one signals below for brain trees. All right. Our Icarus running here as well. 
and I've done a review of that software. If you haven't seen it, it's up on the channel. It tells you about what you can learn from watching Icarus. Am I flying here? What's the deal? There we go. I want to stay on the sunny side just because it's easier to see. Let's slow down. Okay, I'm going to fly past and then turn around here. I kind of want to go in this area. Uh, I guess that one's the biggest one that's still in sunlight. So let's go check that out. And I'm flying at 180, right? I might be going a little too fast. Yeah, I'm going to fly around. Okay, we'll go here. It's coming in a little too quick there, and I knew it would yank me out and make me take forever to land. This is a nice little area here. We'll take a look at that. See what kind of brain trees we can find. And I'm going to go around 250 once I land. Okay. Okay. Change the fire group. I actually want to have some limpets um, here, right there. All right. Okay, we're starting to get some brain trees. And just to show you guys, inventory. For this so I've got very little of the oh let's put a filter in uh, very little of the let's do there's no five so we'll do four three two and one. actually I don't really care about this four so I have very little antimony polonium lithium and neutron and obviously I'm also missing a couple so we're gonna be mining from up above so first thing I'm going to do is scan. Uh, let's be in this mode. Yeah. Let's see. Can I? Come on. Ah. Need to get closer. Come on, brain tree. Damn. Okay, do I need to, like, literally bump into it? Okay. Might as well scan this while I'm at it. Because it's just a rock. That's just a rock. <laughs> okay. All right. Now back up. Switch into... Remote flak mode. 
with the collector and I'm going to I'm going to shoot it it doesn't matter how far you shoot from but once before I release the limpets I'm going to get up to about 1 kilometer. So, some people are going to comment in this video if they watch it that oh, you don't have to go up that high, you just have to reduce the quality of the game to not show things as far away. Yes, I know that. I don't want to mess with my settings. I like having a pretty game. And it's only going to take me just a fraction of time to get up to one kilometer up. All right. I think those two should be sufficient. So I can start letting out the limpets. Get out to a little over one. I think it was about 1.2-ish. Thereabouts. Open the cargo scoop. And how many limpets have I got? I got four limpets going out. And because I can't see the trees, hopefully that means the limpets aren't going to trip up on them. Uh, the way this works in the game is interesting because the limpets, you can see they're down there. Uh, if you can't see something, then the limpets can't see it either. So they're going to go basically to where the trees are and then start picking up materials. Now, I know if I was lower... It would go faster because limpets wouldn't have to go up to over one kilometer to bring me this stuff. I get it, guys. Don't need to leave those comments. I just prefer to not do that. I just don't want to mess with my graphic settings. I just want to look at the game as is and not have to go and tweak things out of game in order to make the game go a little bit faster. If I wanted to do that, I wouldn't be playing in 4K either. I would have the graphic settings at minimal. That gives you the highest response rate, the fastest frame rates. Yada, yada, yada. And we're running at under 144 frames, which is what my monitor is. So I just noticed I had that up. Let me get rid of that. There we go. And uh, let me make sure that I'm tracking what they're adding here. So, ED Discovery, did a video on this. So hopefully you guys know about this product as well. I'm gonna go and, uh, okay, it's, these are my raws for a different account. Let me switch that to this account. And as soon as it flip flops, I'll show you where I'm at. In fact, we'll put it out probably on a, an inserted video. Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to do that. All right. Right out. There we go. So that is in real time showing you the progress of materials coming up. Okay, so two of my collectors didn't go back down, which means... They've collected as much of the materials as are available down there. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, those are going back down. Why didn't these two go down? Let me get a little closer. There we go. Well, that's weird. I do have only one collector, don't I? Uh, modules. Yeah, operations. Yeah. So I'm not sure why those <laughs> limpets didn't go down. Now, at just over one, I can't see any trees either. So hopefully this is good enough. And I can just kind of hover at about one kilometer up. See how far down they're going. Yeah, they're coming back up. Okay, now they're not going back. And I'll, I'll fly even a little closer just to make sure, but it appears like now they've collected everything they're going to collect. What are we getting here, by the way? We're getting selenium and manganese. Okay. Okay. 
Yep, and they're not going down. That means all the material has been collected from that site. All right, let's look for the next one. Um, I think around 260 degrees was, yeah, there it is. So that's basically just flying down this valley is what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to go scan this uh, uh, vent real quick, real quick as well. It's not worth a whole lot of exploration points, but every little bit of exploration helps get the character to a higher exploration rank. Flip to that. Scan it. Yeah, that's a pretty small one, but let's just grab this one as well. Now, let me show you what happens if you don't go up. So let me just go directly above it to maximize just going straight up and down. We're at 500 meters, which again, if you turn your settings down at 500, the trees would also disappear. They're not disappearing. I'm going to launch four limpets, and let's see if they stay alive or not. Just target the first limpet. So he's 645 away. Okay, looks like he's still alive. One of them's dead. Two of them are dead. So we lost two limpets. The first one launched still alive, but two out of four ended up dying when they were trying to bring something back, which is the reason that you need to go up until the trees disappear. So let me launch a couple more limpets. Couple of replacement lumpets and then start backing up so the trees will disappear, which is going to be right over a thousand right there. And now let me go back down to about, about just over a thousand, or actually, right. Well, I think I can actually go a little under a thousand now that they're gone. Nope, they reappeared. Okay, so I need to go above a thousand, so go to about. 1.25 and then go down to about 1.1 launch another limpet right around there this should be high enough so anyway if you were wondering why we bother going up instead of just collecting these at ground level the reason is the limpets tend to get stuck or bounce into trees and so they die they if the limpet hits something it gets killed. If it can't go around something, it it just gets stuck. So by flying up and making the um, uh, making the trees disappear like this, that is allowing the limpets cleaner access to the ground. Because as I said, if we can't see it, then the limpets can't see it either. So manganese, that's not a high level one. Uh, these were all manganese. Okay, so apparently this whole patch is a manganese, which is a level two, which we don't care about. So we're going to keep moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I do want to scan these trees and see if it's the same exact type of tree that the other ones were. Of course, I gotta get real close to scan these stupid things. A pain in the ass. We get it? Nope. Okay, so it's the same kind of brain tree. So we'll keep flying. 
And look for another batch of trees. Let me scan this thing too while I'm here. Okay, oh, there's some good batch of trees. Oh, switch. Uh, where are you? There we go. Oh, I'll redo that area, I think. Yeah. There we go. And one over there, just for good measure. And let's get some collectors going and start going up till the trees and spear. A little hard to see them with the ground color. But about 1.1, 1.2, they should be disappearing. They for sure are gone now. Let's go back down to about 1.1. That's good enough. Oh, some of those trees that are up on the little hill appear again. So if I see a limpet going towards those, I'm going to need to back up again. That 1.13 number isn't necessarily the, uh, the lowest height. Okay. Uh, it just is the, the place immediately below the ship. But if you have hills just to the left or right of the ship... Obviously, those hills aren't going to be... I wonder why that guy expired. Um, so if we fly over this hill, then... Yeah, see that number goes to one kilometer. So we're going to pull back again. Like so. And then launch some more. Oh, come on. You know, back up a little more. This should all be within their range. I think the limpet range. Uh, maybe not. I think the the range is one point one point three something I thought. Fine, I'll go down a little bit. Okay, we may just look for a flatter spot because this is this is they're dying way too many. I did bring a whole bunch of them with me, so I don't think I'm gonna run out of limpets here, but um so these are also manganese. This is not uh uh, level 4 material, unfortunately. We had some antimony on the first batch. manganese okay I don't care about this so much we're just looking for the high level material so losing limpets here is yeah see he just bounced off uh, one of these trees and died and this one's gonna do the same thing probably yeah all right so let's see where the next bunch is and on flat ground, hopefully. Um, let's go a little more this way.
And we got two more planets to scan, so this may this planet may not be as good as the other two as well. Don't know yet. Okay, there's a group. Let's try that one. So I'm going to put all these out, and then I'm going to start slowly going towards that location and see at which place the limpets take off. Okay, so that probably is as close as I need to get. So that's, I guess, a good way of doing it, to test the range of the limpets. Um, let me keep one targeted so I know exactly how far away he goes. Because I don't remember the exact range on these, maximum range. But obviously they sense things at this distance. So he's 1.27, 1 1.3, 1 1.36 was the furthest out he got. So I can actually move just a tad closer. That way we know for sure it's all going to be within range. Let's see what they bring back. It's more manganese or not. More manganese. Level two. Okay. Oh, and some germanium, which is a level two as well. So, so far, not very promising. I'm actually going to back up as these are going towards me so that they don't go back down. Okay. Oh, I got, got some selenium on that one. Okay, well, that, that's the first good one. And more manganese. Oh boy, that's not a good ratio though. Let's uh let's keep flying over here. Let's see if we can test another area. See if they're any better there. Okay, here's one. Backing up till I lose sight of those. And then targeting my guys, and then staying within about 1.3. Make sure they don't go further than that. Yep, 1.2 should be good. Let's see what we get. Now, I, I show in my other video how to target... Um, the uh, flat guns but the flat gun the way it works is when you press the trigger it shoots the round and then while you're holding the trigger the round keeps flying and doesn't explode as soon as you let go of the trigger the round detonates which is what i was trying to do and and basically let go of the trigger as soon as the round touches the ground it'll bounce off the ground but as soon as it feels like it can't go any further and touches the ground that's when I let go of the trigger.
What do we got? More manganese, probably. No, selenium. Okay, good. So selenium is a tier four material. We can hold 120 or 133 of that total. And uh, selenium is one of the materials that we absolutely want to be getting a full load of. So I'm going to let these guys keep running and this patch as long as they have new material to uncover. And they should be bringing up quantities of three every time they go down of whatever it is they're grabbing. More magnes manganese, not magnesium, manganese. And one selenium. Germanium, again, is tier two. We don't care about that. Now, if you're going to set up a ship specifically for doing this, uh, you will want to do what I've done here with um, remote flax. Bring more than one remote flax because they have limited ammo. So I brought four, and we can switch them out. Uh, once When the first one's out of ammo, I'll put in the second one. So you never use all of them at the same time. You just use one of them until it runs out of ammo. But the other thing you would could do that I should have done, frankly is to bring a large limpet controller or a couple. Um, oh, looks like they're done with this field. Let's just make sure, get a little closer. Yep, they're done with it. Okay. Uh, because the more limpets you have, the faster you're gonna be able to do this. So I have the size three universal limpet controller that gives me four collector limpets. And if I brought the size 7, or if you don't have size 7, maybe bring two of the size 5s. Let's see what the, what's in here. Uh, that would be good. All right, that might have been a little premature. Oh, that was a little late. And that one was perfect. All right, let's see what we can gather from here. Get lumpets out there, go up to 1,000 or so. And they're gone. And keep an eye on that limpet. See how deep he goes. Okay, under 1.3, good. Because I think the limit was 1.38 was the furthest he could go without losing connection to the ship. So if you're going to set up a ship just for collecting raws like this, whether it's shards or, or whether it's the brain trees, I would probably do like two, uh, either one of the size sevens, if you can, a universal collector, or do two or even three size five B collectors because the Bs have longer range. Um, so two, yeah, they had... They're at size five. Uh, there are three limpets, I believe. So doing two of them would get you six limpets on the ground. But also, this is the kind of activity that you do while you're watching YouTube or doing something else. You're... You're really not needed here other than to fly between the areas with uh, trees to shoot and pulling the trigger a couple of times. Most of the activity is actually taken care of by the limpets. So you just have to manage the limpets, make sure they're still alive, make sure they're flying back and forth. But you won't have to uh, actively be doing too much here.
getting germanium, selenium, and manganese. So once manganese is filled up, it's a little over half full right now. That'll actually be better because once it's full, it's not going to be targeting. Actually, I wonder if I can... No, I can't see anything. I was going to say, if I can see what they're mining or what they're grabbing, I could have just set manganese to ignore, but I cannot see that. And remember, these are materials, so they're not goods. So there's nothing other than limpets in my storage here in my inventory. They're all going into this area right here. Which is the material storage. All right, so it's got, it looks like there's just one last one's going to pick up, and then it's done. So we'll keep flying. Yeah, let me get back to the, the planes here, the flat area. I think that's the general direction we're going to go, but I think the hills are more of a challenge, so we'll go down the flats here. Okay, this looks good. Okay, wasn't supposed to shoot two. <laughs> uh, the wrong thing selected. Uh, did I accidentally move one of the? I must have moved this. So fire groups, yes, I definitely accidentally moved it. There we go. Oh shit! I forgot to fly up. Up, 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 up. There we go. Selenium, good. That's what we want. There doesn't need to be anything at all engineered on this ship. Uh, the uh, This could be done very early on in your career as a new pilot. The only annoying portion is until you've got enough engineering to have longer jump range, it's going to take you a while to get to these locations. Now, this one is quite a bit closer than the locations for most of the uh, the level 4 high quality um, raw materials. So if I can get more than just selenium, if I can get a few others here, then this would actually be the first place you would go before you go to the other known locations. 
So let's see how well we do. I'm gonna keep uh, keep doing this on this planet until there are no more materials to pick up. My manganese is almost full already. My geranium is about a third full. Uh, I'll let that fill up. And then obviously selenium. And uh, when I get to a point where I launch the uh, limpets out and they don't go to pick anything up, then I know I can move planets because I've gathered everything that I can off this planet. I'm doing this just because I'm exploring, obviously, and I want to do as much testing as possible. Normally, you will have already filled up your level 1s and 2s uh, with just downgrading from the level 4 materials. Uh, and so there, you, you just wouldn't be picking up the low levels because you already have the low levels filled up from using your high levels and you're purely out gathering the high levels the level fours in this case materials as i kind of go through that in the uh in the video on this topic um but since this is a brand new planet i'm kind of curious to see how well how well this works just to get everything and make sure that i know exactly what's available on the planet and so far, it's a little bit of selenium, a little bit of germanium, and a lot of manganese. And it looks like they're about done. No collection targets. Means we've got everything that we can. Get that last limpet. There's a little, there's a decent sized force right there. Get up so that that disappears. Go back down a little bit. So the limpets don't have to go very far. And hope for lots of selenium. So just to remind you of looking on the upper left hand corner there. Uh, I had somewhere between 15 and 25 of the, uh, the three materials that I'm gathering here, which is manganese, germanium and selenium. And I think selenium is obviously the most common. It's picking up the most of that. Germanium and selenium are probably about equally common. But as soon as the manganese is full with another 76 units, it's, gonna, it, it's just not going to be even looking at manganese. And so it's, it's actually going to go faster. Things are going to go faster because right now it's grabbing everything, including manganese, because I have the room for it. Oh, I lost one. Get another limpet done. You know what? Um, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to switch to doing a live stream, I think, because this is probably going to go for another couple hours. And I don't really want to publish a two hour long video, but I don't mind there being a two hour long live stream. Um, so let me do that. I will wrap up the video here. And if you want to see the rest of this, if you want to see me looking at the other two planets, um, just flip over to the tab for live streams and, uh, you can then watch the entire rest of the video. But, um, I, I think it's probably a good estimate to say that this particular planet and again, it's down here. It's coal 135 sector EH-U C3-16. And we are on planet 3A. It's fair to say this, this system has selenium. 
but it's not pure selenium. It's certainly not the highest selenium. It's got a lot of manganese as well. And uh, so far, it's a potential to use this if you've got nothing at all. Um, it'd probably be a pretty good planet to top off selenium if your manganese is already full and your germanium is already full. Topping off on the selenium here would actually probably work pretty well. All right, guys, uh, I will see you in the live stream, which should be under live streams and recording um, or in the next video.